Welcome, what's good with y'all, man? If y'all rocking with me, man, like this video. We on this 100K grind, man. If you need badges, you need VC, like this video, man. If y'all want that 100K giveaway, 2K21, Xbox Series X, PS5 giveaway, like the video. Let me know down below, man. And we might just have some for y'all. Not today. I'm finna show y'all how it's done. And when I say it's, I mean how to get all your badges as far as finishing, playmaking. And this is what legends be doing. This is what a lot of legends, how a lot of legends, how a lot of high rep players come get their rep. You know what I'm saying? It's free game right here. You know what I'm saying? So so pay attention because it's almighty Den, and I'm back again. Now, I told y'all I was grinding my new build out, my new offensive threat build, demigod type build going crazy right now. Very, very simple process, man. 3v3 private pro-am. What you want to do is you want to have one person inbounding the ball like this and the other person throwing the alley-oop. Now, how this works, the person that's inbounding the ball will get passed to assist. That's very good rep. That's very good progress for playmaking badges. The person throwing the alley-oop will also get alley-oop progress towards their playmaking badges. So they will get their playmaking badges as well. The player catching the oop will get finishing badges. So if you need all your finishing badges, all your playmaking badges, this is the fastest way to get them because you get so much progress in a very short amount of time. Now, let me explain something to y'all real quick. If y'all don't know how this works, right? So, depending on what build, what pie chart you pick, right? So, let's say you have a blue-green pie chart. If you have a blue-green pie chart, right, which is finishing and shooting. So, if you have a blue-green pie chart, you're going to get more rep for doing things related to finishing and shooting rather than if you're doing things for playmaking and defense. Now, I have a blue-green pie chart on this character. So, I'm getting rep for playmaking, but I'm not getting as much playmaking rep as somebody who has that orangish, yellowish pie chart color or somebody that can get hall of fame badges on that build but i still get a lot of playmaking badges so i need those give me those you know what i'm saying so this is pretty much what you're gonna do you're gonna go back and forth until you get all the badges you need now if you need finishing badges be be the one catching the oop if you need the playmaking badges throwing the alley-oops gonna get you a little bit more than pass to assist but pass to assist is not gonna get you that much less you know what i mean it's not gonna get you just it's gonna be pretty even now, the games do go by super, super quick. Not going to lie to y'all. We just in here for badges. But, you know, a lot of legends, a lot of mascots, a lot of very, very high rep players, this is where they come to get their uh, progress up. Cause, especially because they know how to spin the wheel. So, imagine you get double rep on the wheel spin. You come into 3v3 Pro-Am and you just start boosting rep all day. Because you do get rep. You do get badge progress. The only thing you don't get is VC. Even though it says you get VC at the end, you don't. So keep that in mind. This is not no way to boost no VC. This is a way to get some, some badges. Now, you can get your shooting badges as well. But, you know, in order to get your shooting badges, you have to be out there with good shooters. You can do the same thing and take jump shots and shoot threes and whatnot. But you, have to, you need to be a good shooter because you don't need people out there missing. Because people who be boosting really be feeling some type of way, man. They be really trying to get it done quick, trying to get it done fast. It's almost competitive, you know. It's like a lot of... Um, Y'all know how some players be on the game. They feel a lot of tension for some reason when they out here boosting. They want to beat it quick. People get annoyed real fast. I don't know about this. The boosting community, the people who are out here getting their badges, they get annoyed real quick when stuff not going fast. So if you're going to go for a shot shooting, don't be out there missing because, you know, you might not be there long. You know, that you, you can get replaced. Uh, but you do want to make sure you have consistent people out there. You don't want to have nobody out there who's just going to play for a game or two. You want to at least get, like, maybe, like, an hour in to get some solid badges. Now, you can get all your playmaking and your finishing badges in one day. I'm not saying it's going to be super quick, but, you know, it's the fastest way to get them for sure. You'll definitely probably like a badge and a half every two games if that's your primary pie chart. You know what I'm saying? If you're going for the things that's in your primary pie chart. Um, me, I know a lot of y'all have defense in y'all build too, but we don't have that many defensive badges, so don't worry about defense in here. Um, that's just don't take a minute. It's easy to get defensive badges. Most of us don't have defensive builds, I know for a fact, you know, so... Just focus on finishing, playmaking, and if you can shoot, shoot. You know what I'm saying? Now, as you can see there, A-plus teammate grade, 11 assists. Keep in mind, I told you I'm not going to get as much playmaking as maybe some of y'all who has the playmaking pie chart, you know. Um, I got 54-54. That's what you're going to get pretty much every time for playmaking. But keep in mind, the game was super, super fast. It was a very, very quick game. So if we run that back, it's going to be 10,000 in, in not even – 10 minutes and keep in mind you know what i'm saying my finishing and my shooting is gonna go up faster so if i was the one finishing i would be getting more progress and i would get those badges even faster you know i'm gonna I'm show y'all the game i'm gonna help y'all out you know what i'm saying now i didn't grind this out all night long i did it for a little bit got a few playmaking badges i had zero playmaking badges before i started doing this i, I do not grind playmaking badges in my career i go for shooting first 
but I haven't been in Minecraft. I haven't played that many Mount Pernition games. Uh, I've been going a couple days, you know what I'm saying? So this is the type of stuff I gotta do to get my badges since I'm not on the game as much recently because I gotta get my, my shooting badges up quick. But I'm a dot out there. It doesn't matter. Like, I still green. I green beans. Um, my player is nasty. He's a demigod already. I got gameplay for y'all. Trust the process. When I told y'all I was going to make a new build, a new demigod build, and get all the badges and show y'all everything that I know and show y'all everything how to do that, the best way to do it, I wasn't joking. I wasn't joking. Y'all know Almighty Ding going to come through for the win, and I'm going to come through for y'all every single time. Now, now let me explain to y'all how this worked. I went in there with two of the guys I already knew, so we already knew what I needed playmaking and finishing, so we was already, we, we was already on the same page. Um... It's easier if you go in there with people you know and then just get three other people that you don't know. You know what I mean? Because the people you know, you can be in there consistent with. You know what they're going to be on. You know they're not going to try to get a couple badges and then leave. You know, they're going to help you out. They're going to help you grind, brother. You go in there with just five random people. If you go in there with five random people, you never know how that goes. You never know how long everybody can play, how long everybody can stay. You know how it is on 2K and on games. Somebody got to get off. Somebody got to do something else. It's almost like playing in the wreck, you know. It's hard to get a good wreck grind in some days because everybody got to get off. So not everybody can play at the same time. So it's good to go in there with a couple people you already know that's on your team. So y'all can have that set up every time. And then if you need other players, PS4, Xbox One, you can just go to the post and find other players. There's always people trying to do this. Always people trying to get, get badges. People always need badges on this game. People are always making new builds. Nobody wants to play my career for badges. Very simple. Nobody. Okay, now there's going to be times where you lose players. Simple. Keep your post up. Keep people on standby. If you need them, let them know. There's people that's going to want to be in there, especially if you already have five. If you already have five, it's not going to be hard to find one more. I guarantee it. But the thing is, what makes it fire is the faster you do it, the better it is. You know what I mean? The faster you can get out of games and it going smooth, the better it is. But occasionally, somebody might miss a layup. Somebody might throw a turnover regarding the... um. Alley they might throw it out of bounds if they're not in the right location. They might drop the alley oop. And then you want to go back and forth taking terms winning and losing because when you win, you get a little bit more uh, rep and stuff compared to when you lose. So you want to go back and forth and make it even so everybody's, you know, getting the most out of the time they spend getting these badges, getting this rep. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, me personally, me and my guys, we're not in here for legend. We're not in here for rep. We don't care about rep like that, you know. Um, we just in here to get our badges and get out. Now, some of y'all might be concerned about being banned and whatnot. Why are you concerned about being banned, man? Why would they leave this in the game so long and, and people already done hit legend off of this already? You know, it's too late. You know, they going to ban people for it. They should have took it out the game. They should have not let people get badges. They shouldn't let people get rep in here, you know, and to begin with. If they didn't want people to get rep in 3v3 Pro-Am, they would take it out. You know what I'm saying? But we're not in here for rep. We're in here for badges. You can play it for a reason. It's a game mode for a reason, no matter how you use it. It's a private matchmaking game mode to come do whatever you want to do. So with that being said, go in there and do whatever you want to do. It's private matchmaking for a reason. I always say, if you're not the one doing it, it's going to get done to you. So don't go, don't mind going there and getting in all your badges. If you need your badges, go in there and get them. You know what I'm saying? It's all fun and games. So that legend pulls up with about 40 extra badges because they was in here boosting rep. And then you look at ugly out there because you ain't even got all your regular badges. And they got 10 extra badges for each category because they was in here boosting it up. Now, that's not all legends. Don't get me wrong. Some people really do grind it out in my career. Some people do grind out in park. But I don't know no legend that wasn't playing no 3v3 Pro-Am. You know what I'm saying? Especially when they was giving a lot, a lot of rep for it. They was going crazy out there. So do what y'all want with that knowledge. It's only right that everybody on the same playing field. You know what I mean? I don't even understand why badges take so long to get, man. What's the point of going out there without all your badges playing against people who got their badges? You know, it's just not even the same. Now, me, I go out there because I'm a dog, and I'm going to show y'all that I'm a dog. Because, like I told you, I made a demigod build for a reason. This build can do everything. And when you know how to play this game, you got good IQ. You know your jump shot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Of course, badges matter, but don't get me wrong. It doesn't matter as much. I don't need the badges to carry me. The badges don't make me. You know what I'm saying? I make the badges. That's what I'm saying. Like, the badges don't make my player at all. I can go out there right now with 80 overall, drop 21 easily. All greens. I'm in here to have fun. I want to get my finishing badges. I want to catch bodies. I want to dunk on people. That's what I want to do. I want to get contact dunks. That's why I'm in here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm showing y'all the wave. Now, as you can see, we had won the previous game. So, I'm going to get a ball to the other team. I'm a good teammate, good sportsmanship out here. Let them get the W. We out of here. You know what I'm saying? A-plus teammate grade. 10 assists, 0 points, 0 rebounds. Everybody getting rep. Everybody getting uh, progress toward their badges if they're not already maxed out. As you can see, my points going up as well. Super quick. I got another playmaking badge like that. Quick and easy. So y'all going to be able to run it up. Do y'all thing. Keep in mind, I might get as much for playmaking as I be getting for shooting and finishing because that's not my pie chart. That's not my pie chart. But I got about five badges in that one day 
doing that very, very quickly. But anyways, man, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, turn those notifications on. Until next time, man, Disky out.